Welcome back to the complete teardown of this 1983 Jeep Wagoneer. Today, we're going to be removing the front axles. First, let's see if we can find the gear ratio. Well, it looks like we're pretty lucky and it still has the tag on it. Well, it looks like the tag says a 272. Not really any surprise there. Alright, now that we had that fun, let's get the tires off and get this thing in the air. I think given the condition of this thing, we'll go ahead and give it a loose juice bath. Hopefully that'll make things go a little bit easier. Now we'll remove the brake lines from both sides. Give it a chance to drain out so the stuff's not dripping all over you. Speaking of that, you should probably put something down so you don't make a mess. Now onto removing the drive shaft. I had to fight with this one. Hopefully yours goes a lot better. So I ended up using a manual impact driver on this and it still wasn't enough to get it off. So I ended up having to cut the collar off. You'll notice as we move on to the shocks, it's a little hard to work with one hand and then film with the other. But sometimes you got to improvise a little bit. Now who in the world thinks that this is even remotely a good idea? That was a horrible shot. Let's see it in instant replay. It's alright, it's early in the game, we'll make it up. And we got a little issue on this side. Looks like this bolt's a little wallered out. We would've kept driving on it, and it probably would've snapped. This is what happens when you bring things in from the cold and it gets warmed up, you get visitors dropping by. Now onto the sway bar. Oh no, down goes the swivel, again. I keep trying to fix it. It's definitely time to toss it though. I might be able to redeem myself with a couple of shots off of this one. Sometimes after you take a horrible shot, you just need to make that easy one and rebuild your confidence. I think now we're back on track. Time to bring in the negotiator. Now that it's out, we'll do a quick little inspection on it, make sure everything's good. So I didn't even really notice when I removed the pin on the tie rod end. That nut is welded to the ball joint. So I guess we're gonna do some more cutting.
Now we'll just go around and remove the nuts from the rest of the steering system. I missed recording this one, but it came out just fine. You might notice later in the video, the steering system is still attached. That's because I did it out of order. This is a much better order, so please do it this way and not the way I did it. Now let's move on to the U-bolts. This will also give me an opportunity to take some shots from downtown. Be sure to keep the pan of brake fluid around so you know you can drop stuff into and get it covered in brake fluid. really should have taken that last shot. These leaf springs are not budging at all. Even though the back part of the leaf spring is pretty much seized up, we should be okay. As long as we can get the front portion of the leaf springs off, we should be alright. So now, we'll just drop it on the ground and I'll undo the front portion. Now with the axle on the ground, I can remove the drive shaft bolt. 